Hello. <laughs> okay, Kira here, and guess what? It's tea time. <laughs> I got my Sips by Tea Box in the mail for January, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> it's a customizable subscription tea box that you can get in the mail monthly, and you get four types of tea customized to you. I got some flavored black tea, my favorite, and some low to caffeine free teas as well. So let's grab some tea and talk today. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll recognize these beanie chicks I did for Christmas as Christmas cards. Not long after, I got a message for a custom beanie chick for a small knitwear maker and her business. That knitwear maker was my mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I love you. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to y'all about navigating and handling commissions, custom orders, and all around selling your work, even if it's to friends and family. I know it can be embarrassing talking about doing work for your friends and family, but I'd like to hope that this is a problem every artist has. So let's talk about navigating this space, being professional and setting boundaries. So if you got your tea, grab your sketchbook, any supplies, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's go. But first, <laughs> Let's put this baby away. <laughs> If you all work with cats, especially hairless cats, you'll know they just want to be in your business all the time. <laughs> And so sometimes I have to kind of nudge him into bed, get him cozy and comfy, let him know I'm not gonna leave <laughs> so that I can get any work done. <laughs> especially right now as I'm just starting to put my work out there and trying to sell it um, and have more exposure to the world, most of my orders, requests, customizations, <laughs> they all come from friends and family. And I treat that like a job. I pride myself in being as professional as possible when it comes to handling sale, sales and selling things. And so when my mom approached me with this, I wanted to be as clear as possible that this was a job. And I wanted her to be honest with me as far as what she wanted for theme, colors, what poses she wanted, how big she wanted it, what did she want from me? Just as I would if I were going to do something on a professional level, right? <laughs> I mean, technically, this makes me a working artist. If I'm selling my work and I'm selling my artwork, then I'm a working artist. <laughs> so I just wanted to be as clear as possible with her. So I actually sent her this color palette when we were discussing colors because she just said bright colors and I was like bright colors that could be anything <laughs> so I sent her lots of sketches lots of color palette choices um, as much as I could to get her opinion and make sure she was getting what she wanted from this order 
It was a small order. She's probably going to use it for maybe business cards, maybe make some stickers, some simple things. So it wasn't as big, but I still wanted to be professional and almost kind of treat this like a training exercise, right? <laughs> Hopefully someday I'll be selling prints of my work and getting tons of commissions. That would be great. But until now, <laughs> um, I'm fine with just doing things for my family. So let's talk about professionalism with family. <laughs> you may have a friend or family member that would love some art from you and they want something customized, something personal. Um, now, if you wanna give that to them for free on their birthday or a wedding, that's totally up to you. I've done that before as well. But I do like to set boundaries and drop hints that I don't work for free. <laughs> may sound mean but it takes time to do all these things yeah this video is quick it's an eight minute video but it took time to get the sketches and the color swatches and then doing the final drawing and the painting adding all the details <laughs> it's a lot of work and I I personally I can't do that for free <laughs> but that's just a personal choice you know as I said before birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, sometimes I do like giving that gift, um, especially if I have an idea that would be like, oh, this would just be perfect for them. But it is important to set boundaries if you wanna be professional. And that's okay. <laughs> if you wanna do this for a living, then those around you should respect that. So in conclusion, there's nothing wrong with setting boundaries when it comes to your artwork and creating. And I hope that helps you, kind of encourages you to set those boundaries. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube. Bye.